Tell us about your off season. How's the how's the uh, update on your condition? Uh, you full go for individual workouts? I'm full go, 100 percent. My dog is uh, perfectly fine. I'm still walking around on crutches, but still roll around practice like normal. How did it happen? Um, I hurt my knee. I tore my knee up. I fell down the steps with my chocolate lab in June. So right before recruiting, how did it affect your recruiting schedule? Or did oh, it was great. Uh, Dr. Betcher let me go on the road. Um, I was walking around. I was fine, and he didn't do the surgery until we got um, got back in August. So this is a whole new injury. This was uh, this injury that you're dealing with here this summer. It was like you fell down steps. Or uh, yeah, I fell down the steps and tore my knee up in June, right oh. before Tyler Summit's wedding. Wow. And. Um, I thought I was fine. I hit my elbow. I thought I hurt my elbow. Uh -huh. um, and then I went in for rehab, thought I'd maybe just tweaked it because it swelled up. And then Dr. Betcher was like, no, you have to come in for surgery. Wow. So What's the most serious injury you had during your playing career? Did you have any situation? Yes, I tore my ACL. Yeah. So the same playing. one, but same one or different one? Or? I, and then this one that I just hurt was my opposite one, so okay, I'm full so go. Both. I'm both. Oh, we're yeah. we're you good. Get, do you get a book double ACL then here? Is that what no, actually, uh, my left one was uh, meniscus. He fixed my patella tendon and microfracture. Okay. No ACL. Okay. So you, right now it's not slowing you down with the traveling or anything like that? Or? No. I roll around practice in my chair, and I can still yell. My voice is still good, my eyes, um, and as far as... Uh, traveling, you know, I can get around on my crutches. And by October, mid-October, you expect to be off the crutches and you know, working with them just like normal? Or? Yes, uh, by the end of September, I okay. should be uh, good to go. What's the dog's name? Bruh. Spell that. B-R-U-H. Okay, okay. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about Megan Simmons. Um, when we last saw her, she her season ended with kind of in a difficult fashion for her personally as well as the team. I mean, what can you, is, is there things to be learned from, from that game, for not only for her, but for you guys in terms of maybe helping her, preparing her for, for her role this year with this team? You know, Megan had a phenomenal year um, as far as the team. Obviously, we did not end the way we wanted to. I mean, the ultimate is to win the national championship. We fell short in the Elite Eight. Um, and I just think refocusing on this year um, we have unfinished business. Um, the girls know what they have to do. Uh, we have to go back and, you know, tweak our offenses, get good looks, um, really worked on our defense this summer and rebounding, and really try to emphasize each player's role and know what they need to bring in order to help us get to Nashville. Do you want to go back and re-hit that defensive role thing with her? Because I remember at the early in the year you were trying to sell her on, hey, you get a few steals, that those can add up to, to points for you. And, and she got off to a, a really good start, but maybe kind of leveled off in that respect. You you want to re revisit that strategy? Um, not just with Megan. I think we challenged our whole team. Uh -huh. uh, we just told them this program is built on defense wins championship, ch championships. And if their goal is to win a national championship, to be in Nashville, we're going to have to defend. We're going to have to rebound. As far as offense, um, we're very talented. Uh, majority of the kids can score the basketball. Um, now we just have to learn um, to consistently play with, with each other and good, get great shots. Mm -hmm. But in the games that we lost, you know, we went back as a staff and um, we put up the points offensively mm -hmm. majority of the time. We just happened to give up too many. Mm -hmm. How do you see Megan's role being different, if, if at all, this year? this coming season compared to what it's been maybe like the last couple of years? Um, I think Megan's role will stay the same. Um, across the board, Megan is pretty consistent. She's going to play hard. Um, she can score. Uh, she leads this team by example. Um, and, you know, we're not trying to put all the pressure on Megan. We did challenge her. This is your last year. You do want to be um, in a Final Four before you leave here. So I think she will just take that challenge and step up it, but not necessarily her role is not going to change. She knows that what she needs to do personally and how she needs to help this team in order for us to excel. Would it help her if maybe others, I, I don't want sometimes in her mind if she thinks like she's got to score X number of, would it help if maybe some of her teammates 
their roles and what they're doing in their roles could, could help her in, in the one that she has with this. Absolutely, team. but like I said, I think we're pretty balanced offensively. Izzy can score on the inside. Bashar Grace proved last year that she can score. Um, Sierra Burdick can score. So we have several people um, that can score. It's just consistent play. Um, having Andrea Carter back will help us, um, along with the freshmen. You know, we hope they progress uh, pretty rapidly. What's been your initial impressions of those two freshmen so far? Well, you know, coming in, they're both both extremely talented. Um, you know, I think they will help us tremendously. Um, but we also just have to keep in mind that they're freshmen. Um, they might come in right away and blow our socks off, or it might take them to the middle of the season to fit the groove. Um, but talent-wise, they will be able to help us. How involved were I know obviously they were probably being pursued long before you got here, but how involved were you in their recruitment to get here? Um, they were being recruited before Coach Law and I got here, um, and I had actually recruited both of them previously um, at Kentucky. Um, but I think it was um, both all, the whole staff we were in, and we had to put all hands on deck to, in order to win them both over. Just Mercedes, I imagine there's going to be a lot of expectations just attached to with the recruiting ranking. Her personality, how do you think she'll be able to handle just those kinds of expectations she's going to be hearing about? You know, we really have focused on just telling Mercedes to focus on what she needs to do to help this team and the team. She cannot control what people are going to say um, about her, good, bad, or indifferent. Um, so we're really just trying to keep her focused, um, trying to uh, take some of the pressure off of her. She is a freshman. We have veterans that can handle that type of pressure. So we really tried to take the pressure away from her and just try to focus on uh, getting her to blend in with the team. When it's time for her to step up, I'm sure uh, Holly and the staff will have her ready. You've got a new strength and conditioning coach. Are you seeing already his impact with this team? And what, what, are, you, what are you noticing so far with what he's doing with the team? You know, he's very intense. Coach Taylor is extremely um, uh, hard on the kids in a great way. Um, he's trying to continue to help them get mentally tough, in shape, uh, physically and mentally. So by the time that uh, Holly gets them for basketball practice, they're ready uh, for whatever. Does he have his own unique way of doing things? Is he, I mean, are you noticing, I, mean, I don't know for lack of a better word, his, a certain style or a certain approach to, to his, his, this thing that makes him different? I think his business-alike intense approach. Um, like it's game-like, game-ready. You can't have any shortcuts. You have to lay it all out there, but just mentally getting them ready. So when they feel like they can't go another rep or run another sprint, he's gonna push them to the limit. Um, and we need that heading into some tough games.